All right, guys, welcome back here. We're doing part two here. Uh, first time around, we were talking about the student hunger drive and everything. But now we're going to talk about what else you like to do uh, when you're not doing that. So let's talk about my band. Yeah. Now, there are a couple of other members of the band that might call it their band. But since I'm the only one here, <laughs> my band, Wicked Liz and the Belly Swirls. So you can call me Wicked Liz if you want. Or you can just call me Liz. The funny thing is my mom actually calls me Wicked Liz. She'll say, hey, Wicked. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. So, so yeah, um, we are what I would call a, an independent pop rock band. Not pop rock like Britney Spears, but, but still, you know, fun, upbeat. Maybe um, Josie and the Pussycats meets the Rolling Stones. Oh, right. I don't know. Does that... It, I, that I'm, 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 I'm imagining now. I'm imagining. Yeah. I'm imagining what, 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 what that looks like now. We're interesting. Fun. We're not too, nothing too heavy, nothing too slow, nothing too country, nothing too like rock. We're like the perfect blend of all of your favorite genres of music. We're your favorite new band. That's awesome. That's really <laughs> cool. How long? You, how, how long have you guys been doing this? We've been doing. We've been together for sixteen years. What? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So, how did you guys? How, how did you guys uh, come together then? So. I met um, our bass player and our guitar player, their brothers, uh, Bob and Leo Kelly, and I met them when I was in high school. Actually, I went to high school with their youngest brother, Jerry, and I was involved with drama and, and musicals and choir, you know, in high school. And after the year after I graduated, they called me one summer to see if I could sing backup for somebody... Um, doing a solo show, but they were going to support, you know, play guitar and bass, and they asked if I could sing back up. So I said, sure, and it was a one-time thing. But we walked away that night, and those two said, hey, let's, let's keep getting together and jamming and, you know, see what happens. So we fast-forward a month, and we found a drummer, and then a month later we had our first show, and, I, you know, I was like, what? We ever heard? Do we even know any songs? You know, like, how, how do we have our first show? And, um, and they're like, yeah, we're just opening. Play four or five songs. We need a name. You know, people are throwing out names. I have. It's kind of like um, when you're talking to one of your buddies and you're telling stories, and you all of a sudden realize you're talking about something totally off the wall, which I'm good at, like, I digress a lot. But And you think, how the heck did we start talking about this? You know, and you, like, try to go back and remember what got you there. That's kind of how the name Wicked Liz and the Belly Swirls came to be because I couldn't tell you who thought it up. I think it was kind of a collaboration. Like, somebody said, what about the Belly Swirls? Or, you know, like, hey, you're pretty wicked. Maybe you should be Wicked Liz. Or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I thought of any of it or not. You know, I'd like to take credit. But it's one of those names that kind of came together. And at first I was like... We only had to do this for this first show, right? We can change the name. And the guys like looked at each other and like, sure we can. Yeah, we can change the name later. I didn't know you don't do that. You don't have a band and then change the name very often, you know. So it's grown on me and I love it now. I, I it was not my favorite at first, but but I love Wicked Liz and the Belly Swirls. That's, that. yeah. that's so cool. That's so cool. So so you talked a little bit about your style here. Kind of talk now about, you know, where do you guys uh, perform at? Where, do you, where, can we, where can people find your music? That is a great question. You can find our music on iTunes and, um, I mean, we're all over the internet. Um, at your favorite uh, disc go-round where people sell their used CDs. <laughs> I've had people tell me they, they saw our CD at one of those places, which is cool. That's fine. Um, we have actually three CDs that we've self-produced, so um, you can get those at any of our any of our shows. But um, where we will be playing, or where we've played in the past, we have played between here and Cincinnati, all the way down to Austin and you know Des Moines, Minneapolis. Um, but now everyone in the band has kids, and um, it's kind of a natural progression. We've kind of uh, reeled in our, our travel distance um, for the last couple of years. So we'll be playing in downtown Bettendorf, just 
right down the street. Uh, and we'll have that information right uh, in the uh, info section below here. So you can find that right there, right there. Oh. There I should is. move it oh, that was <laughs> over there. Um, I can get you a list of that um, for sure. We will definitely be playing at Kelly's for St. Patrick's Day. That's going to be on the 13th of March, the 12th of March, well, the Saturday well. before St. Patrick's Day. We'll be at Kelly's. And then right after St. Patrick's Day kind of kicks off our our summer I know it's not summer yet but kind of our summer season that's when we really get busy and we love to play outside uh, we're going to be playing at Bass Street Landing we're going to be playing outside in the courtyard outside of the Redstone Room and the um, the uh, River Music Experience this summer hopefully we'll be a somewhere Bix weekend and we love playing outside I mean that's so much fun and and a lot of the shows we have friends with kids now you know we're we're all growing up and, and having kids, and I love for our friends to be able to bring their kids, and everybody just, you know, has a good time. So um, the, the most recent show that we will have, though, is at Harley Corrin's on the night of the 20th in February. So it's nice that we can have some shows in town because, you know, we play until 1.30 on, you know, a usual bar gig. And so it's nice to, to not have to travel a long way, especially in the winter. But um, one really cool show that you should not miss, we'll be playing up at the Potosi Brewery in Potosi, Wisconsin. Wow. It's, it's an easy drive. It's just a little bit past Dubuque, but we're outside. It's a really cool um, outdoor beer garden. And, and if anybody likes beer, I don't think you should miss it. So, <laughs> so yeah, so we, we, have a, we have a good time. We don't play... Every, you know, every weekend, every night of the weekend, as much as we did, you know, before we had kids. But I feel like that almost makes us better because we can recharge. You know, we do have stints where we're, we're so exhausted because we're always on the road and always playing. So it's nice to have a chance to recharge and, and kind of take time to write a song or to learn a new cover. So um, we, I'm enjoying where we are as a band right now and, and the pace that we're at. So it's Feels good. Cool deal. Cool. Deal. So, what's your what's your like a typical song about? Like, what do you like? What's like the message that you you have in in your music? Yeah, um, that's a great question. I have personally, I've written songs um, before I was married. I've I have songs that I wrote about you know maybe boyfriends that broke up with me or you know like a broken heart or I'm not gonna take it this time you know things like that. And then um, fast forward to now when I have kids, I write a lot of songs sitting on the front porch, you know, when it's nice out and the girls will dance and I play acoustic guitar and I've written three or four songs just sitting out there and it's funny because my kids will start fighting and I start, you know, writing a song about it. So I'm actually, I have a, some kids songs that I do, but I kind of, um, the songs that I write, I kind of write them for the band. And then I alter them for, you know, like maybe some kids. I, I've played at the library a few times. So like running away or just leaving. Like I need to leave right now because I can't take it. You know, and I feel like there are a lot of parents out there who, <laughs> who wish they could just step away from everything for a little bit. Or, or even when I was a kid, I remember saying, I'm running away. You know, like <laughs> it's fun to kind of reflect back and – and remember how you felt as a kid and kind of express that in another way. Now, if you come to one of our shows at, at a bar, you know, with a band, I'm not going to be singing, you know, kids songs, but they reflect my life now. And, I, but I think it's, it, it's relatable to, to anything that you're going through. Like if you're ever mad at someone and you just need to leave, like that's how my kids probably feel about me sometimes. Mm -hmm. So just interesting to see how, the band and the songs have evolved, but they still, they're still relevant. I, I feel like they're relatable. So I love finding these little gems here in the Quad Cities because unless someone follows you on Facebook, you know, they would probably never know that, you know, you do something that awesome, you know, playing music like that, you're going, you know, all over the Midwest, you know, just to entertain people. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like we're really lucky. I mean, we've been doing it for 16 years. 
um, we're really lucky to be able to get out there and and we have this um, you know kind of this vehicle to express ourselves but also to hopefully bring people up if you're having a bad day and you come out and see our band our hope is that it makes you kind of forget about whatever happened that day or whatever's going on in your life and just let loose you know I, I feel like I've had people throughout the years kind of say oh, are you just gonna be in a band I mean that's not really doing anything with your life you know like well it is and not just for myself but for everybody you know for the people who enjoy um, that escape you know so it feels good to be able to take people away from their their whatever it is that they're going through and kind of just let them have a good time you know perfect perfect so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up here for, uh, I have one last question for you okay. and uh, is what this entire project is about here is uh, people in the in the area doing cool things, but they're not celebrities. They're not big time athletes. They're just everyday people that you would probably walk past, you know, on your way to the grocery store or on your way to work. And uh, I think that those people are just as huge, important, and larger than life than anything you'll see in Hollywood. I just wanted to know, uh, how do you feel about that? I feel like everything you just said speaks to my heart because um, although I sing in a band, you know, and I, I've in the past been a, a radio personality, I'm not famous, you know, but but I'm not going to let that stop me from living out my dream and that's something that I tell my kids and I tell I tell anyone that comes up to me and says oh I wish I could be a singer like you or you know wish I could do what you're doing and I say you can you can you can do this and I'm not doing this to be you know a millionaire or to go be on TV although I am now um, I'm doing this because I love to do it and and hopefully it's inspiring other people to do what they love to do, not necessarily in a musical capacity, but whether it's art, whether you love to bake, whether you love gardening. I mean, just get out there and, and do, don't be afraid to do something different just because you've never done it or just because you don't know anyone who's doing it. Um, I'm the only person that I know from my high school that's in a band. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like I did not not do it because nobody, nobody else is doing it, or I'd never done it before. You gotta, you gotta try something for the first time and get out there and, and, um, and just have fun with it, you know? But I, I love what you're doing. I, I think everyone needs to know that you don't have to be famous to do something cool and to inspire other people. Good job. Well, thank you very much, but uh, thank you for that, and uh, thank you again for inviting me here into your lovely home here. You have your dog over here uh, taking a little nap on the on the carpet. I'm a little ginger. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, guys, thank you again for uh, checking out both parts of this. If you didn't see the previous part, uh, link is right here. And uh, yeah, go ahead if you haven't already. Uh, go ahead and uh, like the 100 series right now to see more of Liz and more of all the other awesome people that we have uh, here in the Quad Cities and all over the country for that matter. Uh, so thank you all again. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.